Welcome day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We're on December 25th, 2018, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to start off at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing you all the latest disaster alerts from around the world. And most of them are volcanoes, and large earthquakes, winter storms, and also extreme cold events. I've been warning of all these things during these last couple years with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we're looking at a very active volcanic event right now across the planet. Also extreme cold here in Guatemala. That's right, the equator experiencing extreme cold. Those are higher elevations because our ionosphere is collapsed, is lower. So we have those colder temperatures. Extreme cold here in Kazakhstan, of course. But Pakistan, and also extreme cold in Germany. All of these things that we're seeing unfold across our planet right now. I was warning about 18 months ago when I started my channel. And look at us now. Thank God that you're all still here. But we have literally lost millions of people to these events across the planet. Hundreds have perished in the Indonesia Krakatoa tsunami. Look at all these volcanoes. These are actively erupting right now. And what we have now is all the largest volcanoes in the world that are erupting. Etna, Stromboli, Fuego, Popo, of course, Anak Krakatoa, the father and son duo, Epico in Russia, Shevelach in Russia. Right now there are 22 actively erupting volcanoes. And a lot of them are in Indonesia right now. Things are changing drastically and I want to thank you for joining me today because you are staying aware and prepared with myself and all of my friends and family from across the world. As we are going to have to adapt, adapt to a new way of living. Maybe become more self-sustainable in a world forever changing. I'm just going to show you here all of the warning volcanoes that are erupting or on the verge because there are a lot of earthquakes happening around these large volcanoes. And also we've got new fissures opening up. Mount Edna, that is what happened there. There are small calderas around Edna. Same with Krakatoa but it was displaced underwater and created a massive tsunami. God bless everybody who has had to suffer and endure these cataclysmic events from around the world. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes looking around the world and particularly interested in these Caribbean earthquakes it is one of the largest subducted subduction zones possible large amounts of magma moving underneath there maybe even awakening a dormant volcano underwater those earthquakes in Greece that's due to Etna and Stromboli who are very active just look around on YouTube, there are lots of videos and pictures. 
but this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. It's pretty busy. But the quiet zone. Here, Cascadia fault line. Canada. And the BC border, subduction zone. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. See, nothing the last seven days. So stay aware and prepared. Anybody in Canada, Washington, and Alaska. Watch for a sizable event within the next 24 hours. Just due to everything that is happening right now, planetary alignments, winter solstice, strange earthquakes in Africa, but a lot of recent earthquakes. Caribbean, strange earthquakes here in the United States. Texas, ringing off a couple 3.0s. In Van Horn, Texas, and also Poth, Texas. I wanna thank all my new subscribers from around the world joining and subscribing to Morning Dew where I keep you up to date with severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, where I try to post my videos as they happen to alert you and possibly your friends and family from around the world. We're going to take a look at weather here. And one of the largest events here is going to be South America as their large low pressure system develops. Parts of Bolivia and Argentina later in the week. So watch for more large hail events as well we're watching a very large low pressure system develop across north america and a cold high pressure ridge fuel down all the cold air right behind it another low penetrating the b c coastline will create a schnook for calgary and watching this later in the week storm it's going to be very large and very wet across the southeastern United States, northeastern as well, straight up the coastline. Also going to watch some cold temperatures hang around for the next few days here in Calgary, but warming up with a Chinook from the large low on the BC coastline later in the week. Bring quite a bit of snow to the mountains, but that Chinook arch just kind of throwing all the snow over top, locking in that warmer air. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and safe and happy holidays. I'm going to do my best to still give you daily updates from around the world as they happen. Later in the week, watching this very large low pressure system that gets stuck in the Sea of Odin over Russia and China. Very large low pressure system. It's almost half the size of the Pacific Ocean. Northern Pacific, anyway. Also watching extreme cold temperatures building in Russia. Tropical depression number 35, heading towards the Philippines, Manila, overnight tonight and tomorrow night. Also a tropical depression south of the equator. We have a lot more moisture in our planet right now. And that's due to the volcanic ash and the nuclearization of cosmic charged particles burning up in our upper atmosphere. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Please enjoy the rest, of the rest of this weather map brought to you by Meteo Earth and Meteo Mike. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.